i hope everybody is doing well uh, so today i have come up with another video that is going to solve your research uh, issues uh, so what i am going to do is to use the excel sheet for calculating different uh, research uh, techniques like correlation descriptive data and regression on a simple set of data just to give you an idea of how to use the excel sheet and how to use its uh, different features pro uh, properly uh, and if you see that uh, in this uh, excel sheet you can see the data view has been clicked and over here you have data analysis in case this is not open then you have to install the data kit uh, over here in the options uh, of your excel sheet and uh, and then the, this will appear so we take the simple example of uh, uh, 10 students whose data has been collected the main topic is uh, what is the impact or what the impact of uh, the number hard work on the impact of hard work on the uh, grade that you achieve so if these are the exam scores of 10 students and this is the number of hours a day that they have studied you know, for these 10 students how do we uh, analyze such a data over here we can obviously say that see that this is the dependent variable the exam scores is going to depend on the number of hours being spent by the students studying each day so those who probably spend more hours might get better results and those who may not spend so many hours might not get good results so we have to check uh, with the help of excel to uh, further analyze this data so we click uh, data analysis and we go with the very basic one that is descriptive statistic and over here i have selected uh, these values so starting from this section to over here we have selected all of these values i clicked on label in the first row as this has been shown over here then you click summary statistics and you may even want to uh, add another option other options that you want to uh, have so over here i don't need other things so i just say click ok and uh, this is how the sheet is going to appear uh, based on this data so quite obvious that we had two variables exam and number of hours of study so the mean value for exam score is 66.3 that on average uh, the student 10 students had 66.3 those who went above are above average those whose values will be lying lower than this would be having uh, lesser uh, marks and the standard deviation is 23.22 that means if we go by one standard deviation forward this would be the maximum value and uh, like there is an interval over there the sample variance is given the skewness and kurtosis is shown over here as well uh, they indicate the variability of the data to one side or to the other and the kurtosis shows you the uh, height of the data the range is the uh, amount of values by subtracting the maximum value from the minimum one and this is the minimum and maximum value the sum total of all the values so this gives a good overall analysis of your data or a basic descriptive analysis of your data similarly for the number of hours of study the mean value is 2.9 so these are the values that you may put in your research papers as you analyze different sets of data and based on your topics you can get informative information with the help of excel now what we can do is uh, for the next step we can go to data analysis again and then we can go to uh, correlations so we want to see the correlation between these two uh, variables and to assess how much they are correlated with one another so here we have to select these values again and select uh, this or probably you can select the entire thing uh, you can start from here to this point and then click the label the first row and then click ok so you get the values for correlation this means uh, how much these two variables are related to one another uh, the relationship is being indicated over here to some extent so they are 95 percent correlated meaning that if uh, you increase the number of hours that will definitely improve your uh, exam score so this is indicative of the data set as well and uh, a good way of calculating your correlation so this is a simple example again you can use your own data to analyze further the last test that we are going to apply is going to be regression 
and in regression as you know that we have to input the y variable in this case it is the exam score so we select it over here and then the x variable you want to see the impact of this x variable the number of hours of study per day and uh, we have selected uh, the basic things label and confidence intervals and we click ok to get this window and uh, this is going to be quite informative so not only does it see the relationship but it sees the impact of the number of hours of study on the exam score so here it shows that the r square value is 94 percent so normally in social sciences we accept something greater than 0.3 uh, or 30 percent so here it is a very good value that is indicating that uh, number of hours of study does play a very major role in the overall um, proper uh, exam score so similarly the regression value is uh, given over here and uh, finally the number of hours uh, have been analyzed over here so the significance value shows that it is uh, significant and it does have an impact on the uh, exam score and this is the coefficient so you can derive the formula from this as well apart from this you may even want to make some charts and uh, analyze the data uh, to make some more sense out of it and uh, based on that you may understand the relationship so this is uh, also available and possible on excel so you can make all of these uh, calculations and analysis based on uh, your data on excel sheets and um, this could be quite informative hopefully uh, you will share my videos with the rest of your friends and subscribe to my channel and like my videos and comment for future suggestions thank you